Hey, if you are a UI UX designer on the journey of your job hunt, you would have definitely heard build a portfolio several times by now. And we know many of you must be wondering what this portfolio is all about or how to build one. Now, think of a portfolio like a menu at a restaurant. Just as a menu presents a selection of dishes to customers, a portfolio presents a selection of your projects to potential employers or clients. Just like how a customer chooses a dish based on his description and presentation, employers or clients assess your portfolio to determine if your skills and style align with their needs. Having a strong portfolio is essential because it provides tangible evidence of your capabilities and helps you stand out from other candidates. It allows you to showcase your unique strengths and experiences, making a compelling case for why you are the best fit for a job or project. So in this video from Simply Learn, you will learn what portfolio building is and how to create the best portfolio that can land you your dream job. And if you want to learn to make portfolio websites like these in a super easy way, stay with us till the end of this video. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. Before that, if you are interested in a career in UI UX, join our immersive UI UX certification program and become an expert in just five months. The course offers live online classes led by renowned faculty from IIIT Bangalore. Get hands-on with capstone projects, craft your portfolio on Dribbble, and receive personalized coaching on top designer tools. And the best part? Simply Learn's job assistance is here to support your journey every step of the way. Enroll now and unlock endless possibilities in the realm of UI UX design. The course link is in the description box and pinned comments. So let's get started. So as already mentioned, portfolio is basically a file that contains a collection of your best works to be presented to your employer or client. So make sure you don't stuff your portfolio you with all the work that you have done. Only keep the ones that you consider your best work, which you are confident about, and where you have portrayed your strengths. Now you have to present your projects in the form of case studies. So case studies basically a summarized explanation of your project, where you will mention the goals, objectives, the research methods you have used, how you found the solution, and finally the result. So, to choose the case study again, make sure you choose the best ones. You can keep it simple by adding just three to four case studies. Now, try to keep it in a chronological order. Basically, the first case study that you present must be your best. And if you have worked on some real life projects or collaborated on some projects, you can add those as your first case study. And the rest can be your personal projects. So I would suggest you to visit the Cofolios website from where you will get some ideas and take inspirations for your portfolio. So this is the Cofolios website where you can log in with your email account. So basically Cofolios contains the portfolios of interns from big tech companies. So here you can find, for example, you know, this person, he's working on Instagram. So you can basically visit his portfolio, take his case study, and you can take inspiration because, you know, as you can see the structure, what he has used. So you can take inspirations from these interns to develop your own portfolio. Okay. So by now you learn what portfolio is and what are the key points to keep in mind while selecting your projects and how to create a case study. Now, how do you present these? So firstly, you need to build a mock-up for your project. So mock-ups are basically a screenshot of how your product looks like. So going by its definition, it is a visual representation or blueprint of a digital product, typically created to showcase its layout, structure and visual elements. It helps designers and stakeholders envision how the final product will look and function before it's fully developed. So right now, I will give you an idea on how you can use Figma to build your mockups. Yeah, so basically what you can do is in Figma, there are many free mockup templates. Okay, if you just search uh, free mockup templates in Figma, you'll receive a number of you know, templates. So right now I have chosen this template. So you might have created a prototype, you know, a wireframe and a prototype. So this was a prototype that I actually created in the previous video. You can check out that video to know how to create a prototype. So this is basically a clothing app in which I have designed two pages. So what you can do is here you have two options. So this is the mockup template. Here you have two options, the template option and the screen option. So you can go to the screen option where you can find frames. So make sure, you know, basically what you have to do is you have to copy this particular 
page or frame and paste it in this frame. So make sure that the resolution of both are the same. Like for example, the resolution of the width and height of this particular frame of the template is 450 and 974. So try to maintain the same resolution. Okay. So basically what we do is we'll copy this frame. We'll paste it over here. So this is my first page. Now you'll copy the second page and paste it in the second frame. Yeah. So now you have to take the template option where you can actually you know, view your templates. So this is how your templates are arranged. Now there are so many options like single screen template, double screen, triple screen. So right now I just have two pages for my app. So I can go to double screen template. So if you zoom, so these are the templates. Okay. So now basically for creating, so see these mockups are like basically screenshots. So what you will do is you will actually, you know, place these uh, mockups in your website, in the portfolio website. So what you can do is you can, you have to download this particular mockup first. So select a mockup design, like for example, I selected this design. You can go to the file section and export it. It will get downloaded in the PNG format. See now it got downloaded in the PNG format. Now having made the mockup, let's move on to how to structure your portfolio. See you have the freedom to structure it in your own way. You can also refer to co-folios as mentioned earlier. Now I will just give you a basic structural idea. So you can start your portfolio with an introduction section where you introduce yourself. Keep it simple, short and relevant. Now try to make your portfolio with a good storytelling. You can start by the name of your project after which you provide a short description of your project. Then define the objectives of your project. Also include what your responsibilities were in the project. Now explain the problem statement. Here you have to explain your problem statement from where you identify the problem and your inspiration to solve this problem. After that, explain how you approach the problem and what research activities did you perform. Explain the insights you gained from the research and your course of action or plan. And finally, explain the solution which is the design you came up with. So hope you got an idea on how to structure your portfolio. Now, where do you make these portfolios and which platforms to use? So basically you portray your portfolio in a website format. So there are two ways. Either you can build your website if you know how to build one. But we recommend you to use web builder platforms so that you can save your time and concentrate more on your designs. So there are many web builder platforms such as Odoo, Squarespace, Behance, Notion, etc. So today I'll be just showing a demo on how to create a basic demo on how to create a portfolio website on Squarespace. Yeah, so this is this will be your Squarespace page. So you have to, you know, sign up using your Gmail account or any email ID. And first you'll get a number of questions which asks your interests. Either you can select those or skip those options. And finally, this will be the page that you land in. So you can select portfolio option. And in that you can select photography option. So you will get so many templates from which you can select any of your choice. So basically you just need a basic idea because you know, mostly we'll be deleting the other sections and creating it on our own. So yeah, I will select this particular design. We'll just start with this design. Just a second. It's taking a bit time. Yeah. So here they will ask you what site title do you want? Okay. So I'm just giving my name because it's my portfolio. So I'm just giving my name. Yeah, just give next, next, get started. Yeah. So here's your template, a basic template. Now what you can do is you can edit this. You can go to the edit section. Yeah. So now you came here, you can edit the side header. So this is the header, this is the body, and this is the footer. So right now we are editing the header. You can actually add elements. See, for here, right now we have work inquired and about so if you want you can add elements like if you want to add your social media links you can just you know press this button where you can actually add a social media link like let it be instagram facebook or anything of your choice so this is how you can add elements or you can delete elements in a header now we'll go to the body we'll create our own body so that we'll remove all these sections now remove yeah, so now you have the header and the footer will come to the footer later. So now you can add a section, add section. You have to press add a blank section. So once you have added the section, you have to add a block. So basically now we are going to, you know, place our mockups. So we already downloaded the mockup screenshot we have, which we made in Figma. So now we add the block, choose image, upload file, go to downloads. Just a second. 
yeah so now this got uploaded now you can also add a description or a text so that again you can add a block go to text you can place this uh, just a second yeah you can place this text below and for example i'm just adding x y z collections because that's my app's name now you can change the font you know the style of your text you can center align it you know so you can change everything also if you want you can add a description below like what your app is all about okay so this is how basically you add a blog now i had also created a mock up for a website upload file So this is basically how you add your mockups in an image format, okay? And again, you can give a description about how I give it here. So this is how you can actually, you know, design the body of your website's page. You can use your own creativity. I've just given you a basic idea on how to use the options. So our header is done, our body is done. So now we'll come to the footer. We'll edit the footer. Basically, we don't want this. You know what, we'll remove the whole footer section itself. Yes, now we'll add a footer. Now there are so many templates that you can use, right? So let me just hover through. Mm, yes, so I'll use this. Okay, that is an about section, contact section, follow section, a social media section. Also, if you want to, even here you can add a text or an image. Yeah, so here I've added a text. Maybe I can just paste this. Yeah. So this is the basics, how you create a website, a portfolio website using a website builder. So yeah, we have come to the end of this video. Hope you got a crystal clear idea on how important a portfolio is for your career and how to build a promising portfolio. If you want any help with building a portfolio or do you have any questions, feel free to comment below to get expert guidance. Do like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for more such informative videos. Thank you. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.